Hi, uh, my name is Cape Shadow Toad, and this is my Guild Wars 2 PvP introduction video. I plan to do an entire series of videos uh, just explaining a lot of the complexities within Guild Wars 2 PvP. This first video is just an introduction, specifically to help new players get uh, started with Guild Wars 2 PvP. Uh, get their feet wet um, without going through uh, too much of a learning curve. Some of the more advanced topics such as builds we'll also be covering in other videos um, but let's get started with this one. Okay I am in Lion's Ark and the reason why I'm in Lion's Ark is just to show geographically where some of these portals are. Um, this is all the PvP portals, uh, some of them going to World v World and one of them going to Heart of the Mist. Now Heart of the Mist is where we want to be. Um, if you are above rank 30 I think it is, uh, you can enter the Heart of the Mist through the lobby entrance. Um, if however you're not that far advanced, um, not that that's really very far, uh, you can come to uh, Lion's Ark and just use the Heart of the Mist portal. This will take you to Heart of the Mist, um, which is the main staging area where people get together, sort out their gear, um, and get ready for PvP matches. Okay, so we've now gone through the portal. We're in Heart of the Mist. You can see all the Christmas decorations that have been done. Um, I'm not going to go extensively through everything that is here. The first time you actually enter this area, you won't see people around. You'll see some uh, NPCs uh, that you need to talk to, get an idea. They will take you through some of the basics of PvP, like capturing points and reviving. Uh, do all the hard missions. Once that's done, you'll come to the main lobby, which looks like this, all populated with people. Um, there are, however, certain things that I do want to highlight within uh, the Heart of the Mist to take note of. The first thing is, is the, the banking area. This is new. Uh, before, uh, if we wanted to do banking, we had to go to Lions Ark or some other major town. You can now just do this within the PvP area, uh, purchase your laurels, etc., etc. Um, the most important uh, NPC, in my opinion, here for now is the weaponsmith. And the reason for that is that if you want to play around with builds, um, this is the guy you want to see to get all your weapons. Now, you'll have to purchase it, but it's reasonably inexpensive. Um, and one of the things to keep in mind is that when you come to the Heart of the Mist or in Structured PvP, everybody's bumped up to level 80. Uh, that means that you have access to all the weapons, um, you also have access to all the skills of those weapons. Now, currently I'm uh, running a uh, longbow and a greatsword, and so you can see all my skills for longbow and greatsword already unlocked. Uh, I also have access to all the sigils, uh, the ruins, amulets, everything. So this is a great place to test things out, even if you want to determine builds for PvE uh, and you want to know, all right, well, what ruins and sigils and amulets do I need to strive towards for my build? It's a good place to, to play around with it and test it. The area that I'm running to now is actually one of my personal favorites. Um, it contains some NPCs that you'll meet within the PvP matches. Uh, we have the Chieftain over here. And next up we have Swanier. Um, and then we have the Lord and all his little soldiers. Um, and within certain PvP maps you'll actually encounter these guys and you'll have to fight them and it'll, it'll grant you points. Um, but you also need to be able to test your builds. So to make sure that your builds are actually viable and works well, it's good to come to this area, uh, play against these guys. Generally, I'd say if you can't defeat either of these NPCs, um, you probably want to reinvestigate your build. Um, but uh, test it against all of them. 
uh, get a good feel for it and if your build actually succeeds quite well um, then it's probably time to to get into your first pvp match uh, but before we do that uh, i just want to run to an area here which is also very useful to test your skill um, the reason for that is, is that uh, they've added npcs for us within the heart of the mist that are profession based so if you want to test your build against an engineer you can do it here or a mesmer you can do it here and they're all lined up here you can see here's a mesmer to our right i feel like a bit of a tour guide uh, got the engineer to our left um, and you can 1v1 these guys test your build out see how they work um, and generally it gives you some kind of an indication of how good your build could do against players now you see that this guy is killed um, one of the important things in pvp though is that you have to actually finish the player once you've killed him we'll actually deal with that uh, in more detail on later videos i just wanted to show you the area where you can play around uh, and get a, a sense of your builds and what to do uh, there's one more area uh, which I want to show you, but it's a little bit far to run. So I'm just going to pause and then resume once I have get there. Alright, so if you look at the minimap, uh, you'll see where I'm at in Heart of the Mist. We were over here. Um, now, this particular area is very good for people who want to just get an idea of what does their build do on an AOE perspective. Um, got lots of Daliaks, you can do your AOE, you can see what kind of damage they're doing um, and it's very useful just for testing purposes. Uh, one thing I must however say about uh, testing your skills about the NPCs within the Heart of the Mist is that they're not nearly as skilled as actual players so if you're struggling to defeat the NPCs in Heart of the Mist you're definitely going to struggle within the PvP arena um, but the good news is, is that uh, ArenaNet has now brought in a new system whereby uh, they try and rank people according to their ranks and skill levels. Uh, currently I'm a rank 80 and um, uh, that's the highest rank you can get now. But uh, it's not really that important. If, if you uh, play PvP, play it for the fun, play it for the competition of it, but don't get too worried about the ranks. Uh, at the end of the day it just sort of shows progression uh, when you at the heart of the mist uh, please explore around have a look at what the different npcs have to sell there are merchants here just up ahead um, that you can sell goods uh, buy salvage kits same as in pve um, and just sort of get a good sense for it uh, the next video we'll be talking about how to actually enter a game um, and playing the game and then walking through some of the, the very very basics of game dynamics.